Hello everyone. I hope you all are in good health. So I'll be uh, making a video regarding the citizenship. So let's start with that. All right. All right. So citizenship. So what do we know about citizenship? What is a citizenship? Let's, let's learn about citizenship a little bit. And what does our constitution provide us with? Let's know about that also. All right. Okay, let's go below. Yeah. So what is the meaning and significance of citizenship? So it says, the PowerPoint says that like any other modern state, India has two kinds of people. One is citizens and the other is aliens. So who are citizens who are aliens? Let's see. Well, citizens are full members of the Indian state and owe allegiance to it. They enjoy all civil and political rights. So let me first tell you what is civil and political. So civil and political rights are rights which an uh, individual uh, you know, uh, has and which, are, which the government cannot infringe. Okay. So these are rights which an individual endows. So aliens on the other hand, so what we learned by now that the modern state India has two kinds of people, one is citizens and the other is aliens. So citizens are full member of Indian state, we all know that, and owes allegiance to it. They enjoy all civil and political rights. So we know now what is civil and political rights, right? But aliens on the other hand are the citizens of some other state and hence do not enjoy all civil and political rights. Now. Further to the PowerPoint, we will come to know what are the privileges that we enjoy and what are the what what do the aliens do not enjoy. Okay, so the next point we learn that there are two categories, categories. One is friendly aliens and the other is enemy aliens. So friendly aliens are the subject of those countries that have cordial relation with India. Those who have a friendly you know, uh, relation with India, that is friendly aliens. And uh, those countries which have a friendly relation with India, those are friendly aliens. And enemy, enemy aliens are who? Enemy aliens, on the other hand, are the subjects of that country that is at war with India. So one is friendly aliens, one is enemy aliens. Friendly aliens are one who have a good friendly relationship with the country. And enemy aliens are enemy aliens are those those which have which are at war with India. Okay, so they enjoy lesser life than the friendly aliens. Obviously, obviously they are with they are at war with us. So why will they be, you know, benefiting or getting the privilege which our friendly relation has? So they do not uh, enjoy protection against Irish and detention. So the enemy aliens do not get the protection against Irish and detention which is an example here. Okay, so now we are going to study the, what are the privileges, okay, rights and privileges that the citizens enjoy, but the aliens do not enjoy. The aliens are, the aliens are denied, okay. Number one is right against discrimination, discrimination on grounds of religion, race, caste, sex, or place of birth, which is Article 15 by Okay. Number two, right to equality of opportunity in the matter of public employment, which is Article 16. Number three, right to freedom of speech and expression, assembly, association movement, uh, move, association movement, residence and profession, which is Article 19. Number four is culture and educational rights, which is 29, Article 29 and 30. Number five is right to vote in election to the Lok Sabha and state legislative assembly, which is also there. Point number six is right to contest for the membership of the parliament and the state list. So they are not, uh, they cannot contest for the membership of the parliament. Okay. And also the state list. So number seventh is that they, the eligibility to hold certain public offices, that is president of India, vice president of India, judges of the Supreme Court and the high courts, governor of states, attorney general of India, 
and advocate general of state so these eligibility are denied these uh, offices sorry this offices uh, public offices certain public offices are denied to the aliens okay which are not denied to the citizens the actual citizens of india along with the above right the citizens are owed certain duties so we need to know that the citizens because they are given privilege because they are the part of the country uh, they are have been in this country they are the citizens of this country so they also with 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 uh, getting the privileges they also have some duties that they need to they they owe to the country so what are the duties for an example paying taxes respecting the national flag and national anthem defending the country and so on these are few duties which it is there in india both a citizen of by birth as well as naturalized citizen are eligible for the office of president while in usa only okay so i had to record this video because i said something wrong here naturalized citizen are not those citizen or not those people so those who being an indian what do we learn here birth in another country India and comes back citizen by birth okay, which as i well said as completely wrong please ignore that because that is a misinformation so, so therefore what i have is to correct it to you naturalized citizens are those citizens those why, who why are it, acquiring uh, indian so citizenship so let me tell you um, so and naturalized citizen is the is a citizen where like losing you know, the citizenship from which from they belong yeah. of the country from which they belong but they that is natural uh, go to some other country and they give you a birth so i had to share this okay. because and i said something you are born there and then you come back wrong, and therefore okay. i thought of making an edit so you are still a citizen sending it to you okay thank you uh, so in india they accept both but in us they do not they are not uh you know they don't provide the uh, they don't find you know uh, the national citizens to be there to be eligible for the office of president okay okay so now the constitution provisions the constitution deals the constitution deals with the citizenship from article 5 to 11 under part 2 it only identifies the pro- person who becomes citizen of india and its commerce so it only identifies identifies who the person who becomes citizen of india and its commerce that is on january 26 1950 so we, are, we i i hope you understood that okay it does not deal with the problem of acquisition or loss of citizenship subsequent to its commerce so who ha- gets the citizenship who loses the citizenship the indian constitution does not deal with that so what happens it empowers the parliament to enact a law to provide for such matters and any other matters related to citizenship okay so it it in uh, you know it it empowers it, it tries to empower the parliament okay that please enact a law so that uh, such matters or matters relating to for the matter relating to citizenship are dealt with so accordingly the parliament has enacted the citizenship act 1955 which has amended from time to time okay so there are further more uh, explanation further more details detailed uh, you know uh, information that i have mentioned here but i won't be putting it on this video because this video is a brief introductory video uh, to you and uh, so i have to keep it short This video is for Bicot. Thank you.